Okay, cool. What's up? Um, I was looking earlier and I think this actually might be sold out. So I do have two other options that are just as good that I will show you guys. But just because we're talking about this specific one right now, I'm going to show you it on the screen. But sadly, I think it is sold out. There might be a wait list for it. Sometimes when you click on the product, it will say like coming soon or it will say like sold out and you can kind of just like enter your email and you'll get a notification when it comes back in stock. So if hopefully that's the case and you guys can add it, but we are talking about Prevents Apothecary. Now this is a dual end jade roller. I feel like jade rollers got their popularity a couple of years ago. So you might be familiar with it. Um, but basically this dual one, so it has a smooth end and then this more like jagged end, um, it's like studded. So the smooth end is great for like depuffing and doing lymphatic drainage, which I feel like is huge right now too. If any of you guys follow Lauren, the Skinny Confidential, she's like the CEO queen of lymphatic drainage. That is like where I first heard about it. That's where I first heard about lymphatic drainage and jade, jade rollers and like washa, things like that. So she's like the CEO of lymphatic drainage. Um, so that's where I heard about jade rollers from. But basically, smooth end, great for puffiness. It's great for lymphatic drainage. I'll demo this for you guys in a second. Um, so great after like a night of drinking or like a night of like, just like eating like junk food when you wake up and you're like so puffy the next day and you're like, I need to get this down. You got your jade roller. The studded end is great for like toning your skin. It's also great for like more like lines. So we like to use that like around the mouth and like lower face to kind of like tone and tighten a little bit. So you kind of get both of that in one product. They also make smaller ones too that are about half the size that are great for really getting in the crevice of the under eye and like the upper lip too. Um, so kind of a lot of options there. Angel's asking how it feels and I'll show you in just a second. So let me, I'm gonna put a serum on my skin real quick. So you want to put a serum down when you start. Also, you want clean hands, clean face. And if you've used your jade roller before, make sure you clean it really well, especially the studded side. Um, jade is a porous material, so it will soak in products. And we don't want it to be full of bacteria when we use it. So I would recommend just dousing in alcohol before you use it just to make sure it's super clean. We're going to be talking about the serum in a second too. But just want to put down a little bit of serum. Okay. Also, when you use your jade roller, you want to do it in one direction. Now, I haven't put this in the fridge or anything. You don't want to expose it to like extreme temperatures, um, but it's really cold. So it kind of feels very similar to an ice roller, but you didn't put this in the fridge. So personally for me, I feel like that just makes it so much easier if you're traveling to have something that doesn't necessarily need to be refrigerated. So I love that. You wanna do it in one direction, get everything out of there, all those toxins, everything that's cre creating all that puffiness. And you do a couple minutes on each side. I'm just gonna do this quick just to show you guys, but you wanna do it for at least like, I would say three to five minutes on each side. Mine's a little squeaky. So if you get a jade roller and squeaky, same thing for ice rollers. I'll just put a tiny bit of oil in it and the squeak goes away. But usually that happens to me like when I've been washing it a lot, I feel like it will get squeaky. Um, so just know, sometimes you have to oil it up a little bit. And then the studded one, it doesn't hurt, but you can feel it a little bit. It's really not painful though. Like not at all. I would say pain wise, it's like a one out of 10. Not painful. Um, when we do our smile lines, we would just wanna go up. And then same thing as the smooth side, we're gonna go out. And you're just doing this with light pressure. You don't wanna put a ton of pressure on your skin when you do this. You can do the forehead a little bit. Now, I feel like for me personally, my biggest benefit from this is the depuffing. Um, I don't know if you guys feel the same way, but the depuffing is definitely important to me. And let me show you 